everyone i thought i'd come on today and talk about um medication um so medication is something i'm on um now again i'm only speaking from my own um experience i'm not um you know a nurse or a doctor or anything like that so i can't give advice on medication because that would be irresponsible um so it's only sort of medication from my perspective um so i just wanted to like put that little disclaimer out there first that you know i'm not a healthcare provider um you know i don't have a degree in medicine or anything so i won't be giving any advice um but i just wanted to talk about like my experience with medication um so when I first got diagnosed, I was 17 years old. I'd just turned 17. And they don't like to medicate for people under the age of 18, um, unless it's like a severe case. Um, unfortunately, my depression was very severe. Um, and I was suicidal, as I have mentioned in um, the vlog that's called My Diagnosis. Um, so if you watch that one, you'll kind of see that, you know, it was something that I should have been medicated for. Um, when I was, like, depressed, I didn't ever think that I'd get put on antidepressants because... I didn't think it was severe enough um, because when you're in that like you know state of mind you just you just think you're fine and it's normal to feel like that and it really isn't um, so I actually got put on sertraline at the highest dose and that actually worked really, really well for me. I know um, other people that have been on it that didn't get along with it at all. Um, and it took sort of a few tries of different drugs before they found the one that um, their body kind of settled with. Um, sertraline, I think for some people it causes like upset stomach and things like that. Um, luckily it didn't do that for me. Um, the only thing it did do is when I started taking it in the beginning, it disrupted my sleep. Um, so I found it really, really hard to actually fall asleep. Um, once I was asleep, it was okay. Um, but it would be like two o'clock in the morning before I'd get to sleep. Even though I was really tired, I just couldn't physically fall asleep. Um, I was put on the highest dose that you can take which is 200 milligrams again they try not to start you off at that dose but because of the severity of my condition um they decided that they really did need to put it on the highest dose um to get you know to help me with my depression um so yeah it was on 200 milligrams and it takes a good three weeks before you start to sort of notice a difference. It takes a while to settle in. Um, and depression for a lot of people is um, like a chemical imbalance in the brain. So what these um, antidepressants do is they bring the chemical back to a, a normal level. I think there's quite a common misconception that antidepressants make you happy. They don't. <laughs> they just help you to feel I guess less sad but they don't make you happy um they're not happy pills as people often describe them um I don't know who came up with that obviously someone who's never actually been on antidepressants or had depression because it's just the most ridiculous thing ever and you know it puts the wrong idea into people's heads um I feel like there can be a lot of shame surrounding taking medication um, for your depression and that you can come across as weak and that is just total bullshit. So um, the reason that I had depression 
that I'm almost certain of is because my anxiety had gotten so debilitating that it was actually affecting my everyday life. You know, I, I actually didn't leave the house for a year. And when I say I didn't leave the house, I mean it. Like, I couldn't even go to the shops, which was like a five minute walk. I couldn't even actually get to the bottom of my drive without having a full on panic attack and it was just horrible and so debilitating and you're kind of you know you're what's the word not value of life quality of life your quality of life just mine was just shocking because i didn't want to leave the house i slept all day barely ate like it was just i was just surviving i wasn't living at all and um I think that's where my depression sort of came from. It was from the anxiety. So that was another reason why I went on antidepressants because then it was able to take the edge off of the depression so that I could really deal with the anxiety. Another thing as well about medication is going on it is not gonna make you feel better on its own. Medication alone will not help you and that's another thing I think people think, oh, I'll put you on these pills and you'll, you'll be all fixed. But it's not the case. You know, you have to go through, you know, therapy or counselling. Um, you know, that that's the truth. Medication on its own is not going to help you. Um, and I know that's something that a lot of people don't want to hear. But it's true. Um, you know, definitely for me, I didn't get fully better until I started going to therapy sessions which I'll probably talk about in another video because I just wanted this one to be about um, the actual medication today. Um, I have tried citalopram as well um, but that didn't work for me. Um, that was actually recently I had an illness in the summer and I, um, I had norovirus in the summer basically so vomiting bug which was really really horrible and um, after the sort of I think I had it for about 72 hours and my stomach sort of wasn't the same since and um, I was frequently vomiting for basically no reason and my doctors were worried that it was the medication, the sertraline that was causing that. And so they decided to try me on a different one. Um, but I really didn't get on with citalopram. Um, but again, it works really well for some other people, you know, and you know, some people can't stand sertraline. So it really is like down to the individual and how you feel when you're on it. I don't really feel that it, um, took the edge off of my depression which then made my anxiety harder to deal with um i also bought a flat so again that's like literally one of the most stressful things you can do is buying a house or a flat um so that was hard um so yeah i am in a bit of an anxious sort of state at the moment but i think once um, I get because I've gone back onto sertraline so as soon as I get settled back into sertraline um, I think you know I'll start to feel a lot better and thankfully fingers crossed the vomiting has stopped um, so that's really good but yeah so it is down to the individual again they're the only two that I've ever been on for antidepressants so I can't speak for the rest of them because there is quite a few I'm pretty sure um, but it's all about tailoring it down to the right person, you know, you, tailoring it down to what you require. Um, you know, people have a depression and anxiety for lots of different reasons. Um, so, you know, and everyone's so different and how they cope and things like that. So um, some people don't um, use any medication at all. Uh, and some people do and it's absolutely okay to do either is you know if you feel that you can do it without medication that's brilliant if you feel like you need to be on medication good that's fine don't feel shamed um 
you know, you're not weak, you know, people with depression and anxiety who deal with it on a daily basis are so fucking strong, like, you know, it's, it's such a battle and, and the strength that, you know, some of the people I've met that they have is just unbelievable. I mean, people say when they meet me, like, I, I would never ever even guess that you suffer with um, anxiety and depression. And I think that's another thing as well that is so weird is that you don't know anyone could be dealing with it. And if you can talk to people about it, you will find a lot of people will go, oh yeah, I had, you know, I've had, I've suffered with anxiety, I've suffered with depression before. You know, it's actually a lot more common than people think. And you know, when you talk to people, you'll realize that you're really not alone. Um, and that's, you, you know, that's the reason that I've done this, these vlogs. I mean, I've said it so much, but awareness is just so important. Um, it's a very valid illness. Um, and, you know, basically, if you suffer with it, you're amazing and well done because it's hard and if you're struggling at the moment you can get past it a hundred percent you know it's you can do this basically is what I'm saying you've got this so that's all I really wanted to speak about today was um you know medication I was probably so this morning I woke up and I was really really anxious and I basically just burst into tears because I'm just feel a bit overwhelmed at the moment and my lovely boyfriend just gave me a massive cuddle and was like you know you're the strongest person I know you're gonna be okay and I was like yeah I am gonna be okay and um, we went to see his cousin because it was her birthday today and it was really really lovely and I got to see my boyfriend's family and then um, you know, I got to go and see my family and we had a nice dinner and we watched our first Christmas movie and it was just lovely. And my anxiety used to stop me doing things and I refused to let that happen again because you miss out on so much. I missed out on so, so much when, you know, I went through this first time round and I just couldn't cope. And looking back on it, it was really sad how much I missed out on. So. I feel like I'm a lot more determined now. Um, you know, I feel a lot stronger with it. But that doesn't mean I don't have bad days and I don't burst into tears and, you know, get upset about it, because I do. But, you know, it does get better. And don't let your anxiety rule you. Try to rule your anxiety and then you're halfway there. So, um, yeah, I was, I was probably, I woke up this morning and I was probably, I would say like an eight on the anxiety scale, but I got up, had a cup of tea, got ready and just went for it. And then, you know, that went down throughout the day and now I'm really, really chilled out. I'm back at home, just about to go to bed and, you know, I'd say I'm at like a two now, so feeling good. So that was today day's vlog day six i think i'm on now which is really really cool um i'm really determined to do this and do the whole 30 days um yeah so i will see you in tomorrow's vlog bye